Hello everyone and welcome to Disneyland Paris Day 1. We are ready, so we're all wrapped up. I have got, again, nobody asked what I was wearing. These ears are for Magic Maker ears and she literally sent them to me in like two days. Um, so I definitely recommend them. I'll link her Etsy below. And I've got a pink scarf, which is really old. I think it's from H&M. I've got the same coat on and my pink Mickey jumper is also from H&M from last year. And I've got my Yorks today because I'm hoping that it's going to be, it says it's going to be dry. Let's see. It is actually freezing. <laughs> I've been walking around like this. Um, it took about 15 minutes to walk from the car park and then there was a queue as well to then obviously like get for security and stuff so we haven't completely missed the early entry. It's actually 9.35 now um, so we're kind of battling with like all the guests but that's okay we're not in a rush um, and we're definitely gonna, we've already said we're gonna get up super early tomorrow to make sure that we do the early entry. <laughs> today so fingers crossed um, there's a bit of a queue to get in so if you wanted to take pictures in this bit this is a good time if it's just opened But we're happy! Rad decision! <laughs> Rad just Happy, happy, happy! We were just saying we feel really chilled because we haven't really got any plans today other than Pim Kitchen for lunch. So we are going over to Studios Park in like an hour and a half. So we're just going to see what the ride times are like here, take some pictures and enjoy! I was just saying to Becky and Catherine that on the castle, I'll show you, there's a gold like, is it a turret? Yeah. On one of the turrets, it's gold. And the bumps on that turret are snails. On that one right there in the middle, they're snails. Okay, we're heading into Frontierland because we're going to try and get on Indiana Jones and Phantom Manor. Yeah. And they're both showing us five minute wait, which is really good. Okay. <laughs> I actually never noticed this boat before. Why are people on it? Oh my God, we've just missed Mickey in his Phantom Manor outfit. Oh my God. Gutted. I hope that it comes back. They might just be changing, because they're... Is this the line for the road, or is that the line for Mickey? See, they haven't moved, so I wonder if they're just changing. We might have to come back for that. Look for this one. Perhaps you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. This, this chamber has no windows and no doors to find a way out. Creatures of fright, we summon you now to dance through the night. Esprit des fantômes.
Manor that was fine and then the Mickey in his Phantom Manor outfit was outside but we ditched it because Millions Splashes of Colour is starting in like 10 minutes so we've got a spot for that and we're just here so this is our view and we think it's going to come like around here and then they're going to be on the stages just up there which isn't too far so yeah Let's celebrate our stories all together! that splashes of colour show it was okay none of us loved it too bad too bad it was um the song was really good there's just a lot going on like and you're better off standing in the middle bit where they go up on the stages to dance because the like the float stopped on the main road bit so if you were standing behind one of those you wouldn't be able to see it anyway so now we're going over to studios park and if you don't know disneyland paris the two parks are ridiculously close together like we've just come from there that's Disneyland Park and this is Studios <laughs> and we were going for our Pim Kitchen reservation which we got for 11.45 um, it wasn't difficult to get but it was kind of the only time and it's 11.38 now Cheesecakes, 
more desserts here. It's like a pecan pie. Oh, pear crumble, that looks nice. The wasp cells with honey, whatever that is. Some marble cake, no idea what that is. Um, mini cake, fruit salad. Oh, that's raspberry coolie. Oh, the blue one is blue custard. Um, carrot cake and raspberry inspired tart. They look so good. Okay, then moving on, this is like um, extras, I think. So there's like mini bacon, onion, pumpkin seeds, some vinegars, uh, loads of crackers and cheese. Loads of cheese. Look at that chocolate cheese. Salad and whatever that is. They have bread. Okay, over here we have corn dog nuggets, Mexican rolls, and jambalaya. A vegetable crumble that looks suspicious. Some potatoes, um, some other sort of bread, cauliflower in different colours. So this is a plant based crab cake and some roasted pork. Then over here we've got crispy beans with onions, or rather green beans with crispy onions fried chicken wings, corn and coriander stir fry and wheat strips and chickpeas. And this was a giant burger and they do have mini ones but there's an ounce right now. Ready? We have some pasta here. And there's the giant hot dog and the giant pretzel that is massive. And they have this like cold section with salads and some salmon and stuff. Caesar salad with giant croutons. Some hummus. And more salad and meat there. And then a mix of things here. Mini chocolate pot, that looks nice. Fruit salad, chocolate mousse, white chocolate mousse. And then randomly some salad bits down there. And there was a chicken wrap. And then they have this section which is the mini sliders. Some barbecue flavored cauliflower, cheesy pasta, and some rice. And then right at the end, they have an ice cream machine, vanilla, and then they have these little toppings and then tiny little Oreos. I'm hoping you can hear me. It's quite loud in here. So, a quick review on Pim Kitchen if you can hear me. We really liked it. So, it's a buffet kind of style restaurant. They had loads of choice. I've shown you all that. Um, and it was pretty nice food. So price wise, it's 45 euros per adult and that includes one cold drink, like a soft drink of some sort. And then the kids one is 25. For ages three to 11. Look at that, service from over the other side of the table. Um, and the vibe in here is like really quite chilled. Like even though it's a buffet, it's not manic. Like the tables are really quite far apart. It's big actually, isn't it? Like there's loads of space to kind of walk around. Yeah, the theming is like really good, but still quite so tall, like it's not completely in your face. Yeah, it was it was really nice. I would recommend it to be fair. I think it got a bit of stick when it first opened, but that must have been teething problems. So yeah, we're gonna pay now and then do the Pixar Together show. Okay, we're not going to the Pixar show because we got our times mixed up, so that's gonna be later. That's about quarter past three that that's on. So we're just waiting now in the Avengers campus. Um, seeing if we can see the Guardians of the Galaxy like dance competition thing that they do, so yeah. A battle de danse. A dance off. Yes, a dance off. Ça c'est Gamora. Tu la connais cette chanson? Tu chantes avec moi? C'est exactement ça la mission. Vous savez Ouais, pas mal du tout. Je vois déjà quelques potentiels recrues. Et on va chercher Gamora. Allez. Gamora, rejoins-moi sur moi. Ok, pas mal. Attention, Deep Star Lord. Un deuxième pas de danse, si tu veux. Ok, on va se départager. 
vainqueur avec une pause finale de Super Hero Final Pose. Rocket, play the most killer playlist. Sofa. Qu'est-ce que c'est que ce coup monté, Rocket? Elle a pas de playlist. Terrence. Tiny. Terrence. I tried hard to become a brave warrior, but I could never save the galaxy on my own. As a team, we are all different and unconventional. But those differences combined make us stronger. Ensemble, nous sommes invincibles, avec force et courage. I know each of you have rare skills of your own, so this is a time to show off and share them. Okay, so let's see what you got. Gabora, après un discours pareil, je suis désolé. J'ai besoin de toi. Regardez quoi. Face public, c'est ton public. Est-ce que t'as déjà fait de la guitare? C'est le moment de commencer avec moi. Merci. Désolé les recrues, on doit y aller. Mais promis, on reviendra vous chercher dès qu'on aura sauvé la galaxie. Once again. Mais n'oubliez pas, vous avez tout déchiré, surtout. Come on. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Eh, madame dans les nuages, je vous ai laissé une petite surprise sur votre disque dur. Cherchez le fichier, David Hasselhoff. Playlist downloaded at Starlord's Awesome Place. Thank you, Guardians. Ah, les recrues, est-ce que ça vous dit que vous ambiancez encore une dernière fois ah, Ils ont dit oui, Gamora. Well, C'est pas moi qui décide. Je ne devrais pas vous le dire. Ok, les recrues, cette fois, on doit vraiment y aller. Mais n'oubliez pas, vous avez tout déchiré, n'est-ce pas, Gamora Yeah, you are totally wrong. Guardians. Out. Vous comptez faire quelque chose ou bien on commence à se chercher une nouvelle planète We're gonna get those missiles. That's my plan. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy dance off and it was really funny. Um, they they pulled me up and I didn't know what to do. So I hope you enjoyed that very awkward clip of me dancing. And then um, and then we took a picture with them. And I was saying to my friends, I need to learn how to take a photo with the character because I just look ridiculously excited. I'll pop it in so you can see what I mean. Um, and now we are oh, and then we went on Avengers Fight Force, which was really good. That one is a bit scary, to be honest. And then we want to see the Pixar show at quarter past three, and it's nearly quarter two, so we're just going to kill ten minutes in the shop, and then go and wait in the line. Web Engineering Brigade. Et voici notre chef de projet. Oh, Peter Parker. Comment ça va Je suis Peter Parker. Oh, Ici chez Web, on a accès à une super technologie oh, comme le scrum Radio de Wakanda ou ce fluide extraterrestre dément. On a les particules de pile et ça fait tout faire les speakers et on fera équipe pour empêcher les spinner de détruire le campus. C'est un jeu d'enfant. Ok, we have a plan. Ok, sit back and enjoy your ride until we reach the impending disaster. On va envoyer Johnny pour le risque en étant encore à changer les spinners.
Pixar show that was really good actually it's called Together and it was just like um, there was live music I couldn't film any of it so can't show you any sorry but it was really good um, what did they do in it they had live music they had it was mainly like Toy Story characters but there was also a bit from Up Finding Nemo and Coco actually the Coco bit was my favourite yeah that was really good it was really good um, and then we went on Web Slingers. That was also good. We waited quite a long time for that. It said 50 minutes and we waited about 55. Um, and then it did stop like three times when we were on it. Not for very long, but yeah, that was actually quite good. It was really clever. Um, and now we are hungry for a snack. So we're finding a snack. I've had a tip off that there's some good homeware in the Ratatouille shop. So we head in there next. Oh, just felt rain. Wish us luck! Okay, I've got a snack. I've got a sugar crate from the little stand outside Anna Magique Theatre. Becky got the Nutella one. Good? Yeah, nice. I haven't tried mine yet, but mine's just sugar. Um, and I got a tea as well, and that was seven euros for both the crepe and the tea, like a combo thing. How much was it by itself? Do you remember? I think it was about four. It was, it was four or five, yeah. And Catherine's got the beignet, which is moderately Mickey shaped. <laughs> chunky Mickey. Can you see that on the screen? Like yeah, it's a little, little chunky. So, let you know what she thinks of that. And did, you got a cold drink with that, and that was yes. seven as well. Uh, this was four and a half. Did you not get a combo? Or is that only for hot drink? Combo. Combo's only for hot drinks. Oh, it's raining. Oh, no. No, combo's only for crepes. Yeah, combo's only for crepes. Combo's only for crepes. We're just in the shop at Ratatouille and they do have some of the kitchenware here. It's not the stuff that I was after, but it is these plates in particular are actually really nice. They're 12 euros each. Um, and then like, this glass, it's kind of posh. Becky said you could put like your ice cream sundaes and stuff in that if you wanted to. That's, uh, I think that says eight. Yeah. And I also got like the mug. I'm not keen on the. I'm not keen on the handle. And that is 15. Vigilier de la capitale s'apprête à vous concocter une petite merveille. Oh no, it is great, it is great. Oh, that's not ours. <laughs> is that a <laughs> No, we're not. <laughs> into the light. Ratatouille and that was posted at a 30 minute wait and we waited 25 so that was fine and now we've come out and it's raining and it's about seven o'clock or just before seven o'clock so we're gonna go out the park now and into Disney Village to find some dinner we're thinking Rainforest Cafe so we I have been to a Rainforest Cafe before but not this one so I'll let you know what that's like if we go there and I think we're stopping by at the shop <laughs> always Hello. 
Hello people, we're back in the lodge. It is 25 past nine. So we went for dinner at Rainforest Cafe. So I'll show you a clip of like the food and some of the theming, but I didn't actually speak to um, the camera in there. And I had the veggie burger. It was like a Beyond Meat thing. It, it was okay. It was quite expensive. I think the burger was, were they 24, 24 Kath? Yeah. 24 euros. Um, and the drinks were either for like a soft drink. So I had a Coke and it was five euros. <laughs> So that's how much it is like for one. Um, and then between us all, it was 104. So that's for three adults, just so you've got an idea of the price. Then we walked back to the car park, which took about 15 minutes. So depending on where you've parked in the car park, it will be like between 10 and like 20 minutes. Um, but it is, it has been really convenient, like get, just getting into the car and then getting back. And we memorized the way back, even though we've only done it once before. So we were pretty impressed with that. I think that's it. I can't remember if I said that parking was free. I but might. Yeah, I if I haven't already said that, if you're in a Disney park, um, sorry, if you're in a Disney hotel, you can park at the parks for free. Otherwise it's 30 euros, 30 euros a day, which is quite expensive actually. So the difference in cost to stay like off, start, off site compared to like using a Disney hotel and not paying for parking is probably not worth it if you come in by car, so. Oh yeah, so we actually queued to park this morning. I don't know if I said that earlier. So by the time we got to like the car park, mm. what time was that? That was, um, wasn't it five? 10 past nine? 10 past or five. About, about, yeah, past just nine. after nine. Yeah, and the park opened for all guests at half nine. So obviously everybody was queuing to get into the car park at that point. So by the time we actually got into the park, it was probably nearing 10, wasn't it? Not sure. Yeah, yeah we think we think so. So yeah, so in the next vlog, we are going to desperately try and get in for early magic hours so, or whatever it's called, early, early park access. Um, so we can give you like a, a real review of what that's like. So stay tuned to see if that happens. <laughs> and we've got, the only other thing we've got planned is uh, Captain Jack's for dinner tomorrow. So that's the restaurant at Pirates of the Caribbean. But other than that, we're just gonna do some of the things we haven't done yet. Um, some yeah, some big rides that we haven't done. It is meant to rain tomorrow. No, it's actually looking okay now, I think. I think it said it was going to rain from I like three o'clock. it's going to be the worst day, it'll be tomorrow, but I don't think it's going to be as bad as we were. Yeah, so we'll have to check the weather in the morning and we'll let you know. So if you've liked this vlog, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because there's more Disneyland Paris vlogs coming your way and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.